Sammy Hagar has blasted David Lee Roth, saying his voice hasn't aged well. Hagar discussed the differences between him and Roth in a brand new interview with Brazil's Inside with Paulo Baron's internet show. He said, He's a real, he's a real character. He's a showman. <laughs> I, I enjoy him, but you talk about cringing. I can't imagine how he feels when he looks at some of them old videos, the way he was dancing and moving and, and the way he was singing live sometimes. I don't know how he feels about all that, but I don't think he cares. The difference between him and I is I sincerely care. I care about everything I do and I care how it affects people and I care, I care what they think. Uh, I care that it touches them and makes them happy. And what is important to me is enlightening and elevating people spiritually and making them happy, making them uh, have good dreams, making them um, want to be better themselves. That's my goal with everything I do is to, to bring that to people and um, change their life if I can. And I don't think he could really cares about anything like that. I don't, and, and that's the difference between our presence. Um, he's very much into himself, very much into, you know, being a showman and doesn't really care. Uh, I, I don't know what he cares about. I really don't, I don't know him. I have no idea who that guy is. I don't think anyone does. And, uh, but he, he, uh, he entertains me. I, I, I enjoy watching him do stupid shit, you know? Wow, he's a strange person. He's a strange character. He's he's not what he's saying he is. He's pretending. He's totally bullshit. Everything he does is thought up and it's an image. It's nothing to do with who he is. He is not exposing who and what he is. And I know this for a fact. But when I see him, I knew that the first time I saw him, I said, oh, this guy, he's, put, he's putting on an image, putting on a show. You know, he goes back home and goes in his house and a whole different guy. It has nothing yeah. to do with that guy. Um, he's not honest about his image and his performance. That's what I see when I see him. That's that's how I feel. But I tried to be friends. When we did our tour together, I thought it was going to be so much fun. I thought if he's anything like he claims to be, oh, we're going to have a good time. But he wasn't. <laughs> he was the worst guy to be around. He he wasn't ever around. He hides out. He You know, you never see him. He fucking, put, you know, he puts on his whole big front and comes out and oh, I'm here. David Lee Roth is here. And then he goes and hides again. You know, it's like very, very strange. Um, I don't think he's happy. You know, he's never been married, never had a relationship, never had children. You know, it's like, yeah, how do you live like that? I, I don't know. I'm a family man, you know, it's so, I, it's so, and it's I love so women. He's uh, he hasn't aged well, his voice. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard. Uh, I used to not want to cause trouble. First, I, in the old days, before I was in Van Halen, I ripped him through the fucking coals when I do the press, before I ever was in that band. And then when I joined the band, I tried to be nice. And then when I left the band, I tried to be nice about him. Uh, and then we did our tour together. And then I fucking said, fuck this guy again, right? He's an asshole. You can't get along with him. He's no fun. He's full of shit. And then now, after Eddie's death again, I feel, once again, he's part of the Van Halen legacy, and he's important. So I wouldn't want to <clears throat> ruin anything to do with what he brought to that legacy. Van Halen, I want Van Halen to be go down as one of the greatest rock bands of all time. Rock bands. I don't know whether band you call this whatever you want, but not just mine, Dave's era. I want it all to be. I want Eddie to be the legend and get the respect that he deserves. And the only way to preserve that is by being kind about the past. And yeah. uh, like in my book, like I said, that's the only thing I would probably soften it up uh, and, and put. But it's too late. It, it, it is what it is. And it's honest. So I'm not lying. I'm not backpedaling. Nope. Nope. It's all true. But uh, God rest his soul. He's a uh, he brought a lot to this planet, to this business yeah. of rock and roll. Eddie Van Halen did. And Dave was part of it. No, it's yeah. too bad. It's too bad what he's become. But <laughs> that's different. That's not Van Halen anymore. You know. Hagar replaced Roth and Van Halen in 1985 and recorded for studio albums with the band. 5150, OU812, for unlawful carnal knowledge and balance, all of which topped the U.S. chart. The highest charting Roth-led Van Halen album was at number two, and it took until 1984 to achieve that. 2012's A Different Kind of Truth also landed at number two.
Last November, Eddie's son Wolfgang revealed that his father had contemplated a kitchen sink tour that would have included classic era bassist Michael Anthony, as well as vocal turns from both Hagar and Roth. There was even talk about bringing back Gary Sharon, who sang with Van Halen on one poorly received album. 1998's Van Halen 3 Eddie died last October at St. John's Hospital in Santa Monica, California. The iconic Van Halen axeman passed away from complications due to cancer, his son confirmed. Thank you for tuning in, and please hit that like button, it's appreciated. Make sure that you subscribe for more rock-related content.